Our third video having to do with a compass, hello there, has to do with actually what we're looking at right now. What in the world do you do with the mirror that's attached to your compass? Now, a lot of people never use that mirror. They just use it as kind of the part that they point towards something. And that's how we've been using it so far. We just kind of use that line that runs down the middle of that mirror as a big kind of magic wand that we walk in that direction after we get our bearing set. But there's actually a good use for it. Now I'll say off to an aside that any bird biologist has probably also used this mirror tilted sideways, strapped their compass to an end of a stick, lifted it up in the air, and used to look inside a bird's nest to count how many eggs are in a robin's nest, for example. And you can shave with it when you're on a camping trip too, but that's not why the people at this company attached a compass with a mirror. Um, it's actually there to improve the accuracy of your, of your bearing. So in our last video, we decided we wanted to walk at 140 degrees, right? So let's keep that. We've got our bearing still set at 140 degrees, and we're gonna situate our shelves again so that red is in the shed. And now we're ready to go, right? Well, let's make sure we know where we're going in a little more precise way. And so we're going to use this mirror by tilting it back at maybe, I don't know, what, like 60 degree angle. And I want you to notice that on the back side of the compass, there is a, a line in the middle, and there's a line down the middle of that mirror, and those are going to become important. Now, we got to, this involves keeping a lot of things straight here. We have a bearing set. We're going to keep red in the shed as we talk about this. And we're going to lift it up kind of in front of our eyes. And we're going to align, if you can see as I move this back and forth, there's this line at the back of the compass that we can see in the mirror. And that can be off. We want to make sure that the mirror's line right here is lined up with that, but in the mirror. So. Red is still in the shed. Oh, maybe it's off a little bit. So I need to adjust just a little bit. Okay, red still in the shed. I now double check again and move my compass so that the mirror is lined up with that line. And now I look at the little notch at the top of the mirror. And that can tell me which exact landmark I'm going to walk to. So I look way off in the distance. In this case, I'm in my yard and I can't see a far mountain or a special tree, but I can see that I'm gonna walk kind of towards the edge of that natural wood trellis that I built in my garden this summer. And so that's the direction that I'm going to walk. And I'm going to walk to that point, take another bearing. So that's my landmark, okay? That, that wood trellis is my landmark. I'm gonna walk to that point, stand beside it again, and take another bearing, the same bearing beyond that, and that will allow me to keep walking at this very precise, as precise as I can get it with this compass, bearing across the landscape. Now, in this case, of course, I'd run into my barn, but you get the point. Um, that can be very useful if you're canoeing up in the boundary waters in Minnesota, and you're looking across a really big lake, you can find a big dead tree on the other side of the lake that's right in that notch and that's your landmark that you're going to canoe towards and so you know the bearing as you go across that lake. Okay so that's how you use the mirror on the compass and it has to do with keeping it tilted a little bit of an angle so that you can actually see the face of the compass in that mirror and keep things lined up this back line with the line on the compass.